to my channel and today I have a new makeup video for you guys and I know you can already tell I'm throwing a lot at you right now. Today's makeup look is supposed to be a little bit more unique to what I have on my channel. So that's why I have no eyebrows. I glue them down and then I conceal them to the best of my abilities. I've only done this one time and even then that was hard and I was like two years ago. I think. Today I wanted to do a look based on the new Gorillaz album called The Now Now, um, released on June 29th, which is a week from now from when I'm recording this. Pink, blue, black, I just wanted to incorporate that into a look and I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit more artistic, and that includes uh, tailless eyebrows. Um, I probably should have done my eyebrows off camera. Um, actually, I'm gonna do that really quick. Just give me one second and I'll even zoom you in so we can get started. So, just like in my last video, and my last two videos actually, I featured the Coastal Sense 252 palette and I'm gonna do that in this video again. And honestly, when I was practicing this look, I tried sticking with only one of the palettes, but to be honest, it only works with uh, two palettes. <gasps> One of them just fell out. I don't use this color anyway. I don't know how that happened. So I think we're just gonna get right down to it. Taking this palette from the Coastal Sense 252 palette, I'm gonna take this turquoise shade. It's called Sea Lily. And this is the E40 brush by Sigma. Also, I did set my eyelids, but um, no, I primed my eyelids, but I didn't set them. That's what like a lot of people have been doing lately. I haven't done that yet. This was my first time doing it. People are saying that it's like the new thing to do. Maybe it was a bad idea to do this video or at least do my eyebrows like this because we are supposed to go somewhere later tonight. Just like in my last video, I'm bringing it a little bit higher up and outwards and I'm actually bringing it farther outwards than I normally do. This might be like the wrong day to do this video because stuff is getting knocked over. Um, plans are getting made on top of each other. Then I'm gonna take my M441 brush by Morphe and take Empress Blue and run that along the depth of my crease. This is probably a bad idea because this is a satin finish versus a matte finish where it would show up a little bit better. And I don't know how this is gonna react on top of the matte shade. Then I'm gonna take this eye crease brush and take this shape. <gasps> So like, I don't know why I just put it back. Then I'm gonna take this green shade from the other palette in the Coastal Sense 252 palette. And this is a e.l.f. eye crease brush. And that's gonna go in further in our crease. It's almost like, it almost matches the shade of my Eagle Tool sponge. Then I'm gonna take some shape tape and use that to cut my lid. Um, I'm not gonna do the same thing as my previous video, I want to just kind of go halfway on my lid. And I'm actually going to use that to cut this part of the eyeshadow. I'm not really into the tape, I only use that once. And using tape on your skin is not really supposed to be good for you anyway. So I connected the lid concealer to this. This one looks a little bit higher than this one, but to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. And then now, I'm gonna take this shade at the bottom of this palette. Um, it's like a frosty sea foamy green kind of color. I don't know. I'm not good at describing colors. <laughs> the artist in me has failed. Um, this is just an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This is turning out way better than when I practiced it beforehand because I do practice my looks before I start filming, just so I don't mess up. I'm thinking, do I wanna go with the face first or do I wanna go with the eyeliner first? Well, just go with the eyeliner first. That way it'll be a lot easier to fix it if I mess up. 
So now you're really up close to my face. Hi, how are you? Um, and now we're up to the part where it gets really, really scary. I wanted to incorporate some pink into the look because the album does have some pink in there. And I decided, you know what, I wanted to do some really bright, colorful liquid liner. And for that, I went and got the NYX Vivid Brights in the shade Vivid Petal. And this is the part I was always like screwing up when I was practicing this look. So I'm gonna line my waterline first. Or no, my lash line. This feels like it's stinging my eyes. Now that I really look at it, this seems very Toy Story Barbie-ish. Now I'm gonna use the line of the concealer as a guide. I think I put too much on that it hurts my eyes. <laughs> like it's, it feels like it's weighing down my eyes a little bit. Then I'm gonna line my cut crease also. This is where it gets really messy. I hope that you guys can see it because I can't really see it from the viewfinder. Um, it is pretty far, so I don't know. Okay, so that's the first bar down, but we're not done yet. I also want to try and add some liner to the top, like say right there. See, this is my problem. I have contact lenses and they dry up pretty easily and when I was practicing this it, granted it was only on like one eye um, that I was practicing this and my eyes could not breathe and make the ends connect because it looks um, disconnected obviously so now it's time to Do that on the other side. <laughs> I can already tell that I'm messing up. Mm, it's not that far off, is it? This one's just a little bit thicker. Dare I take a little bit of concealer and fix that? Kinda want to, kinda don't. Mm. <gasps> I got shape tape on my pajamas. Shit. <laughs> okay, that actually looks a lot better. Hmm. I'm gonna connect these two and then we can move on to the face. I like how I just got quieter when I said that. Okay, so this is the finished top eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to get to the face and then we'll be right back. I'm gonna do my face off camera. Okay, so I'm gonna take this pencil brush by Sigma and go back in with is it? Yeah. Empress Blue. And I run that along my lower lid. Then I'm going to take that Eagle Tools sponge shade on a flat eyeshadow brush. This is the one from e.l.f. And I'm going to run that close to my lash line. I also forgot to mention, I have lashes on now. Hmm. Um, I didn't want to go with the normal, like, store glam ones that I always wear. So I ended up using these. These are the ones from Daiso. They're like the, um, they're not clumpy, but they're the ones that the strands are like together and stuff like that. They're not like curled and there's no mascara on yet because the glue is still drying. So, and then, for my highlight shade, shade, my highlight for my brow bone. I think I'm gonna go in with this pearlescent blue shade right here. Um, I'm starting to think putting it right where my eyebrow is is probably not a good idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to. 
still looks okay. Yeah, actually that looks fine. Never mind what I said. So for blush, I'm actually going to use this new one from Wet n Wild. It's their limited edition collection for summer. It's the um, Baked Blush. Yeah, I thought that was like an actual like name for it. Okay, so this is from their summer collection. Their Baked Blushes. I've been into wearing blushes with like a shimmery satin finish. And this is a shade Dare to Soar. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna take this powder brush from Sigma and kind of diffuse that a little bit because that was it's a little bit too much. Then I'm actually gonna take two pink highlighters. Again, they're from e.l.f. I almost said they're from Blush. That makes no sense. They're not from e.l.f. They're from Wet n Wild. This is from their spring collection from last year. It is in the shade Sweetest Bling. And this is from their limited edition spring collection from this year. This is called Purple Ashes. And they say limited edition, but I'm pretty sure limited edition means that you can't get it in store anymore because this was from last year. And it's still on their website, so you could probably still get it. Once these are gone from the shelves, they're probably still going to be on the website. So so I'm going to take Purple Ashes, and this is the M501 brush by Morphe. Kind of the same process I did um, in my last makeup video, where I lay a darker color and then a, top co and then a lighter color on top of it with two separate brushes. And then I'm just going to go in. Then I'm going to take the Sweetest Bling on my M501 brush by Morphe and then lay that on top of uh, Purple Ashes. It's probably unnecessary because I actually like how this looks, but we're going to try it out anyway. That looks... yeah. Actually, that was a good idea. Okay, so for lips, I'm thinking I want to go with a lip color that matches my eyeliner and I think we're gonna go in with tea and cookies this looks very 80s right now and I really like it I'm not done yet I'm going to line my lips really quick and I'm going to line my lips with downtown beauty by NYX all right guys and this is the finished look I am so proud of myself I feel like it's very different, very new to my channel. I don't wear lips like this, but it's better than a nude, I guess. Um, but I'm very proud with how it came out. The eyeliner looks a little bit wonky, but to be honest, it's the best that I can do. I don't do, I don't even do eyeliner that often. So yeah, um, maybe if I practice eyeliner and wore it more often, I would probably have a easier time I guess um but to be honest I think it looks really good I hope you guys liked how it came out and I hope you guys liked this video anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye